Listen, man, y'all already know what time it is, man. What's good, y'all? It's that boy Deadly back out here with another video, man. As y'all can see by the title below today. Listen, we are reacting to Corey Kenshin new video, okay? If you was in the stream last night, you already know what happened. You feel me? It's like, I, don't, I just don't understand it. I just don't get it. I can't go live and react to other people's music. I understand it's part of copyright, okay? I already went through this before when it comes to like explaining myself on a copyright situation like i don't really gotta explain myself but it's like for y'all to block it then for me to re-upload it and it's a blocked in some ter territories then it ends up getting blocked completely and i have to put dispute it makes no sense it just makes no sense bro why do y'all got robots reviewing y'all stuff anyway so let's just put it like that but hey man i ain't gonna waste your time bro we hopping straight into it i ain't editing nothing i ain't gonna lie i ain't editing nothing bro how y'all day going man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video the, the um jid live stream bro but we we gotta see what's up bro we gotta see what's up i want to see what's up with this video somebody actually mentioned it in the comment section i can't remember your name but you know who you are you know who you are that mentions it and mentioned it bro so hey man i ain't even gonna waste y'all time we hopping straight into it bro i'm gonna try my best to articulate right, this video good. as thoroughly as plainly as eloquently as possible I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't uh -huh. want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. YouTube, you guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I Best. never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. Yeah, it's like, bro, people be tripping out that, but I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, yeah, that, that's racist. Oh, just because y'all, you know, I ain't going to throw the race card out there because, you feel me, it's probably happening to other people too, but, you know. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm. It could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. Right. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. Mm. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant. That's another thing, bro. So when I be making reactions, I be having I be having to look this up to make sure, like, am I the only one that's getting blocked? Like, because I know when my videos are getting blocked and other people's videos are getting blocked. I know when, you feel me? But for me to make a live stream and for it to get blocked, but I saw somebody else that didn't get blocked. And they did the same thing that I did last night. It don't make no sense, bro. YouTube, and get, only get my y'all video y'all better not a restrict or demonetize this video whatsoever because nothing is going on, buddy. To be age restricted, and I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video. Yes, I be. No one else's was age restricted, so I appealed the restriction. Um, hey guys, I. I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. They doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted. My appeal just got rejected. For good reason. Well, but We're not going to tell you why, now, but I it's restricted. It, I That's it. our final decision. I said, hmm, okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, Hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression. And I'm just going to leave it there. Lest this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it. So I looked at that right. part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a I part agree. similar. Now, Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you. And I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can mm -hmm. look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to yeah, everybody. Yeah. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant part three and he had 
the same situation going on in his video wasn't age restricted so mm. i send the video to my youtube rep i say hey um markiplier has this situation in his video but his isn't age restricted could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that he said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. What do you think happened after that? Yeah. I'll give you a second. I'm guessing that the video, they basically took the appeal off and made your video public. Right? They came back and they removed my age restriction. They took it off. After they already rejected my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it. Bro. Now my YouTube rep, he was excited. Bro. He was I know the oh, game, bro. Was, <laughs> look, Corey, I knew it. Ain't no way. Off. I said, why? Yeah, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. Oh yeah, Mark did it. So, oh, oh he's, he's okay, man. He's okay. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy YouTube get, email. Get, get it together, bro. Detailing get it together, my bro. Feelings That's all I got to say. The entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play. There was either that or some racism at play. And that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Mm. Actually, number one, was it automated or was it a human that age restricted in in the first place they probably just got robots on their system who bro. was the human reviewer because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal mm. who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal number three why did it take markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision true my nice. youtube rep gets back with me he wants to hop on a call we get on the phone um for about 10 15 minutes and i tell him I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You mm. don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. What? Why don't these Why? issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I, I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. Right. So my YouTube rep assures me he's going to continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by. And what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. They re-age restricted the video. I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. Yep. They got called out, and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't going to, like, Talk about this, make a video about it. You realize how bad this looks for you, YouTube. That's bad. I ain't gonna lie. You realize how that's sad. I ain't gonna lie. Unfair this comes across. I no on YouTube, since I'm such a small channel, they might just give me they might just blitz my channel, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When me reacting to this, they might just be like, nah, yo blitzed. And all my blitz have never seen a video get age restricted, D age restricted. And, and then, then age restricted again. again. Have, have any of you ever seen that happen before? They <laughs> that doesn't saw happen. That I saw that there was some unfair stuff going on. So then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video. I say, wait, why are you doing that? Because I sent Markiplier's clip. And then they say, oh, okay, well, let's just age restrict them both. Why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers? Mm. My peers. And when I say peers, I mean people around my level around my view count just to keep it simple why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized 
especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done. All right, pause right there. Pause right there. So I see what he's saying. But your raise, he not on his, he not on Corey's level, but he's up there. You feel me? Like he had situations where Brody ain't even got his one one million plaque yet, or his a thou, wait a hundred thousand plaque yet. He haven't even got his plaque yet. And then all his videos are getting age restricted, and they getting demonetized. And Brody, Brody will bleep out the cuss words. It'll still get age restricted, or still get demonetized for some reason, and they'll make up a crazy excuse. But done multiple times. I guess this and is just social media. This this is where we this where we moving in social media, in bro. I guess uptick in activity. You here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, um, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. That's it. This situation was only bad. Because I've been number one trending since I got back. That's sad. That Every is sad. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Now I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. Facts? For that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race yeah. had everything to do with this. Yeah. But I can tell you the people on that policy team. You gotta be, they playing favorites, for sure. Definitely gotta be playing favorites. Anonymous and, we all know and this, though. enact their will however they see fit. How can we? We all know this, though. Like, with the music, with the music game, bro. They already got this set up, bro. They got it set up already. These rappers are meeting up with people that's... In the high tier of YouTube and the high tier of the company, bro. They said we can give you whatever you want. You want to be heavy in the algorithm? Cool. I just got a recommendation video a few days ago from uh, Jada Youngin. It was a video that released R.P. Jada Youngin, but that came out of nowhere. I'm like, bro, they have the power to push whoever they want. Have y'all seen channels before that a pop up and y'all recommended? And y'all, they have a, they have 900 subscribers. And y'all wonder, y'all wondering like, where did they come from? They upload one video, one video, automatically in the algorithm, just like that. Why well, you got people out here that's uploading multiple videos a day? Not just saying myself, it's others out there bigger than me that's doing multiple videos a day. They not even in the algorithm. They probably posting every fucking day, every day, every day. And you got people that can just come out of nowhere and just. Listen, they playing favorites. They find their channels. Listen, they find their favorite channels. And listen. Be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video. And it can be the same exact video. And they restrict the black person's video, but not the white person's video. I feel like they're playing been favorites. They try to just play favorites, bro. Time. I mean, I ain't even gonna play the race card, bro. Subscribers, and yeah, I was supposed to get my coming? diamond play button and no one there was no correspondence yeah, 14 these million. situations always coincide with an uptick of growth and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up i mean if i'm wrong i'm wrong who's the biggest black youtuber on youtube you, that's how it comes off who's the biggest black youtuber i don't on YouTube, see bro. any other youtuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Point them out. I want to see them. I'll retract this entire video. I'll make a public apology to YouTube. I have no problem. My dad taught me if you make a mistake, be a man and address it and apologize. I will do that. No problem. Did but you? to me, you know what it comes off? It How comes off whenever you, Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much, Desi. we got to find something. It's KSI, we got to get him for something. It's gotta, he's got to have done something. I mean, I bleep out cuss words in video games. Like, I, okay, it's, I, I literally... This is, the, this is the YouTuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with. I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team, and YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that um they got their favorite creators 
you know, log out of YouTube, log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. Count how many are black. Count how many facts. are of people. It's of facts. Color. So then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give us I remember a spotlight. That. I remember that. Spotlight for a month. You know how condescending and patronizing Spotlight for a month. Oh, yeah. Let's give a spotlight to these black creators. For a month? all about diversity. For a month? What this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. I so remember we got to give shit. them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that Just fake. bring us in. Bring them into the algorithm. You don't got to. Why are we and making it a month, a bro? Black creator coming to you repeatedly saying, why am I being treated differently than other creators? And then you come back and, oh, we got to be age restricted. And then, oh, no, we got to, we got to, he's on to us. Okay, we got to age restrict them both. Fake. It's fake. That's what it is. I am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant. You know, in the beginning, I wanted to keep my emotions out of it. I wanted to stay logical, stay on the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I gonna upload it? Exactly. You know, I worked hard. I, I built this community from the ground. It's taken me over a decade to do. And I would have just hoped that the playing field was fair and that, hey, if I did something bad, then everybody else who also did everybody got to be held accountable too. Is that unreasonable? That's I that have should no happen. Problem being punished. I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and exactly. I learn. But when you that's what I'm saying, like with, with the whole thing with me making an appeal for the J.I.D. reaction, I understand it. I understand why it got denied. So all I got to do from that is just learn from my mistakes. Like, you feel me? That's all you can do. Start like when it's targeted, when you're doing things only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation. But that's just what it is. Now, if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they like, you know, they start like not sending my videos out to my subscribers or or, you know, a couple months from now, y'all just stop seeing my videos. We know why. Oh, yeah, definitely. We know why. At that we, point, we know. Those shadows behind the scenes, they control it all. They control all of it. If they don't want, if they don't want my channel, they could terminate it right now. They could hide my videos. They could shadow ban me, not send my videos out to anybody. That's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this, but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform, I want you to hear it from my mouth that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes. Already know it. Already know it. Listen, bro. Already know it. I ain't going to say too much, bro. They might just end up getting me for this. We all know it. We all know it. We all know it. But it's a thing, bro. With small, with smaller YouTubers, they, they don't give a fuck, bro. They they don't care. We all know this, though. We all know this, though. With smaller YouTubers, they just be like, bro, nobody even know you for real. Get your channel up out of here. Like, and you can't do nothing about it. You can't contact nobody about that. You feel me? You can't contact nobody about that. You're not, you're not a YouTuber with power that can do that. If this was to happen to anybody else, I mean, it's not going to happen because, I mean, the video would get age restricted, but you can't contact nobody. You feel me? Like, but yeah, like I said, with the whole JID reaction, I understand it. Like, I don't have a problem. I upload reactions for a reason. You feel me? I, most of my reaction videos are not monetized. They're not. When I'm reacting to music, I'm doing this just because I love reacting to music. I'm not doing it because I'm getting monetized. Off the, I'm not getting monetized off shit. All these... I don't even gotta go into that, bro. If you know, you know. Like it's just just that simple. But I do enjoy doing YouTube, bro. I really do. But it gets to a point where it's like it gets draining, bro. But Twitch having the same complication, so it's like I could be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna end up just moving the uh, album reactions to Twitch. But even if I do that, it's like you feel me? I'm already building something up here. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, bro. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I got a warning. Almost got a strike yesterday. I understand it now. I understand. 
I, I don't need to stream anymore. I'm not going to stream no more unless I know what I'm reacting to. But yeah, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give a like, also comment, and subscribe if you're new. Listen, let me know what y'all think, bro. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation with YouTube, bro. But hey, man, it's been your boy, that boy, Deli. I'm gone, man.